Because learning important historical facts in school is often rather boring, we show you in this video 10 facts from history which aren't too important, but will disturb you. You can expect, among other things, a cruel fact about climate change, a scary invention, and a completely new side of a dictator. So make sure to stay tuned here at Wonderlane. Let's start with number 10 and the national flag of the USA, which probably everyone knows. However, the curious fact that the world famous flag was not designed by a designer, but its current version was actually created in 1958 as part of a school project is probably less well known. The 17-year-old student, Robert G. Heft, designed today's national flag of the USA with 50 stars in all because he assumed that Hawaii and Alaska would soon become American states. His teacher marked this as a mistake, and therefore, Robert received minus two marks for his design. But after Robert submitted his draft to the government and it was selected from among 1,500 proposals, the teacher finally changed the grade to an A. We continue with number 9 and an action from the 13th century, which is the definition of karma. On June 13, 1233, the then Pope Gregory IX let it be known that the devil is a half cat and therefore sometimes in the form of a cat on earth to do evil. Based on this conviction, the Pope's order to the population was now that they should destroy all cats. And indeed, people in Europe immediately started throwing cats from high towers, drowning them, and even worse. At that time, it was not only believed that cats were devilish, but also that they were partly to blame for the plague. However, since the plague was transmitted via fleas that lived on rats, and rats naturally spread much faster now due to the lack of cats, some scientists are convinced that it was precisely the cat hunting ordered by the Pope that ultimately led to a greater spread of the disease. For number eight, we have the world famous inventor Thomas Edison. It is well known that Edison was a brilliant inventor who developed the light bulb in the 19th century. However, among the more than 1,000 inventions he developed in his lifetime, there were of course, some flops. One of them was a talking baby doll which he invented in 1890. Inside, a small disc played pre-recorded songs and rhymes. Although the doll was of course technically revolutionary for the time, no one wanted to buy it anyways. Because of the sound quality, the doll's sayings sounded so scary that it was considered unsuitable for children. But just listen to it and decide for yourself whether you would want children to have such a doll. Apart from that, the technology was so sensitive that it easily broke, and so the production of the dolls was stopped after only six weeks. Let's move on to number seven, and a curious fact about the famous Austrian composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. He was a musical prodigy from an early age, and even over 200 years after his death, Mozart's pieces are still celebrated by classical music lovers worldwide. When you hear the name Mozart, you probably think of high culture and people in fine clothes sitting in opera houses. Fun fact, Mozart himself was usually anything but genteel. On the contrary, the musician was often quite vulgar. For example, he wrote a cantata about licking his buttocks, and in letters to his relatives, he sometimes wrote things like that his buttocks were on fire, or that you can only enjoy a bed if you have done your business in it. Also, for his distinguished concert audience, he thought up, again and again, creative insults that would definitely go too far for this video. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with number six, and a curious, as well as cruel fact. Scientists have found out that the great Mongolian conqueror Genghis Khan, who built up a huge empire with his troops in the 13th century, actually influenced climate change. During their campaigns, the Mongol troops wiped out the population of entire regions, and since there was no agriculture or animal husbandry in the areas that were subsequently deserted, nature was able to reclaim the previously cleared areas at lightning speed. So many trees grew that global warming was slowed down by it, and altogether the plants, which grow now in the human empty areas, are said to have taken up 700 million tons of CO2. That corresponds approximately to today's worldwide output by crude oil use of an entire year. 
On number 5 is a fact about the Roman Emperor Gaius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, better known as Caligula. Caligula was considered a completely insane ruler. Among other things, he is said to have had an affair with his own sister and was considered to be even more cruel than other Roman rulers. Although they were of course already not squeamish with their people, he organized particularly brutal gladiator fights or had people executed just because they criticized his style of dress. Otherwise, Caligula was also known for his debauched, legendary parties, which escalated insanely every time. The emperor not only gave his favorite horse, Incantatus, jewelry, but also built him his own house. But that's not all. In fact, Caligula then even appointed this horse consul, which was a very important political office at the time, and he angered the Roman elites tremendously with this action. Let's continue with number 4, and a really scary fact from the early 19th century. At that time, it was already possible to have dentures fitted and many people needed them because of the poor oral hygiene at the time. But since there were of course no modern materials as they are used today, the dentists at that time faced the big problem of where to get teeth for the many dentures. Poor people who could get some money for it had their healthy teeth extracted and made into dentures. But the demand for teeth was still so much higher than the supply. After the Battle of Waterloo in 1815, this changed. The tens of thousands of fallen soldiers on the battlefield were an excellent source of real teeth for unscrupulous dentists who stole them and used them in dentures. Let's move on to number three and a curious find from ancient Egypt that shows that adult reading has always existed. While today, erotic depictions are mostly consumed on video sites on the internet and were often shown in booklets a few years ago, there was actually already in 1150 BC a papyrus scroll that showed erotic games in detail. The so-called Turin Erotic Papyrus was described at the time of its discovery in the early 19th century as a monstrous obscenity, and in fact, it goes on the papyrus far more explicit than one would expect for such an old representation. Presentation. You can see, among other things, giant genitals and dirty talk in hieroglyphics. On number two is a curious fact about Adolf Hitler. What few people know is that the dictator was a huge fan of Walt Disney's cartoons. Officially, of course, the American films were forbidden to the people of Germany. Hitler watched them enthusiastically anyway. Joseph Goebbels once said that Hitler was very happy when he was given Disney films for Christmas. Hitler especially liked watching Snow White, while he called Mickey Mouse a degenerate dancing idiot. But that wasn't all. Hitler was even so enthusiastic about the films that he would draw characters from Pinocchio or Snow White. Hitler's closest confidants were downright annoyed by the politician's enthusiasm for movies after a while. According to his chief aide, he liked to watch three or more movies in a row after dinner. And let's move on to number one and a bizarre fact about the late 19th century. At that time, post-mortem photography was very popular. Families had their recently deceased relatives, especially children, photographed and posed so that they looked as alive as possible. For example, they were placed on chairs or photographed together with the family, and the children had their favorite toys placed in their hands. What sounds macabre was intended as a reminder of the deceased. Photos were still very expensive at that time, and so there were none of most people during their lifetime. When a child died, the family had it photographed so that they could keep a memory of them. Well, that's it for the 10 historical facts that might have disturbed you. Write us in the comments which of the facts you found the most disturbing. Feel free to leave us a like and subscribe to see more videos from us in the future. We'll see you next time here at Wonderlane.